Good morning, guys. Good morning. As you already know, we are the tourists, and um, we're here early morning in, um, in Barcelona, trying to head to a country called um, Andorra, which has no airport. So the only way to get there is to go there through um, by bus. So we're here at the Barcelona Sand Station, trying to catch a bus to Andorra. What's up, baby? You ready to Andorra? Yeah, sleepy, but um. Yeah, the time time difference is crazy, guys. Yes, here's about what six or five hours something different from New York. New York, yeah. And uh, I'm sure you all these nice videos, but this is like one of the struggles behind it. Uh, not getting much sleep, um, moving around, and then dealing with the cold weather. So uh, here we are. But we're here still to show you the best. So. Yep, we're going, we're going by a bus company called Direct Bus. So it's about a three hour drive from Barcelona to Andorra. So we're gonna show you what the journey is gonna be like, alright? So come with us. Yep. Alright guys, that's our bus to Andorra. We're going to Andorra right now, so come with us, let's go. The bus company we used, like I said earlier, was direct bus. The seats were comfortable. They had tray tables as you can see behind the seats and the legroom was not too bad as you can see and the seats were able to recline a little bit check this out look at me wasn't bad at all for a three hour um, bus ride seats also had usb so you could charge your phones the bus also had a toilet in the back of it which we did not use but can come in handy in case of an emergency the bus ride was nice and comfortable amazing scenery the bus was half empty as you can see it was late november and it was still covid time so we all had to wear our mask and i guess not so many people were traveling but the journey the view along the way was amazing driving through these mountains driving through um, some tunnels as you can see right now it was nice i kind of loved it kind of enjoyed it my wife loved it too we slept for half of the trip since it was an early morning bus ride we needed a sleep before we knew it there we were at the andorra barcelona border yep andorra barcelona border there we were about to get into Andorra. Hey oh, guys, mm -hmm. welcome to Andorra. Mm -hmm. So this is the bus station guys. Once you come from Barcelona, it's where the bus stops right here. And on your way back, you take the bus at the same location right here too. Alright, this is the side. One more thing guys. At the bus station, since most people come here as a day trip, you can leave your luggage here in the locker. See it? In different prices. Some are 4 euros and some are 3 euros. And these are big ones right here. These are 5 euros. See it? Look how big it is. You can fit in. <laughs> if you want to leave your wife here, you can leave your wife here and go uh -huh. hang out. Yeah, funny you. <laughs> We're in the capital city of Andorra. And Andorra is known as a country in the mountains. Look behind me, guys. Mountains everywhere. See how nice it is? Then you have buildings up in the mountains. And the glass building you see right there, it's a spa. And I heard it's um, the tallest spa in the whole of Europe. Look at it, so beautiful. It's amazing how they build these houses on top of the mountains. People living up there. I wonder how they come down and how they go up. Driving up all the way up, you gotta have some good brakes to be driving all the way up and driving all the way down. Coming down is, a, is gonna be a problem. Oh, check it out. So nice. And I heard Andorra has no military, only the police. That's how safe this place is, guys. So, whenever you're in um, Barcelona or in France, try to come and check this place out. The capital city of Andorra is called Andorra La Vela. 
Andorra La Vela means Andorra the town. It's the highest capital city in Europe with an elevation of 1,023 meters. Andorra itself is one of the smallest countries in the world, which is located in the high mountains of the Pyrenees in southwestern Europe. The highest mountain point in the country is Coma Pedrosa at 9,656 feet. When you think of safety, think of Andorra. It's one of the safest countries in Europe. You don't hear of any crimes, whether pickpocketing, disorderly conduct, or theft. Even though it's located in Europe, Andorra is not an official member of the European Union. Even though it's a small country, it's the 14th oldest country in the world. The offices of government, court, and prison are located in the House of Valleys, which was built in 1580. Did you know it's the only country in the world where Catalan is an official language? Yep, the only country in the world. It's also the world's only co principality Andorra has two princes, the president of France and the bishop of Urgell. Just in case you were wondering where Urgell is, it is a county in Catalonia, Spain. From 1936 to 1940, Andorra was occupied by France and in 1993 Andorra became members of the United Nations. Andorra also has a system where the authorities build schools but France and Spain pay the teachers who work there. One thing to note is, there is no inheritance tax or income tax in Andorra. Andorra's constitution came into effect on April 28, 1993. The popular sport here is skiing which attracts a lot of tourists from around the world. Andorra is also known as the poor man's Switzerland. All right, this is Angel del Trapezi. Look at it. Wow, looks like it was made of like Crap metal. Amazing guys. This is in Andorra, yes. Before the pandemic, about 10 million people visited Andorra yearly. Just like every country in the world, Andorra has been affected by the pandemic too. As you can see in the video, the streets were empty. It's like walking through a ghost town. Now this is where all the stores are located. Where tourists come in search for good prices and tax-free shopping. When you are there, make sure to check out Andorra's famous bridge and the famous sign Andorra La Vela. Another fact about Andorra is that their military budget 
depends on the voluntary donations and all able-bodied men must serve when called upon in case of emergencies or natural disasters they will be called by means of an alarm the law in andorra also requires the eldest able-bodied men of a house to keep a rifle yep, and to be used when needed for national protection andorra's army consists of just 12 people that's why people normally say andorra has no army and guess what the army has never been in a war for more than 700 years i guess with that being said we need the army in Andorra. Like I said earlier in the video, shopping is the second most popular activity in Andorra due to its duty-free policy. Kids can also have fun in the mall. Check this out. For those who love street food, there is also street food in the shopping area. Check out the mobile coffee stand on the right. I tried the coffee and it was good too. Seafood is very popular in Andorra. The locals also love eating snails, so I heard. Did you know Andorans are the minority in their own country? Yep, they are. And you could cross the whole entire country by foot. And most of them are Catholics. Andorra has a lot of old churches and it's one of them right here. Look at it. <coughs> so nice. That's the church of San Pierre Matir. You see it? One of the old um, churches in the neighborhood. Hope you guys enjoyed our day trip to Andorra. It's an underrated tourist destination. Please come and visit this country.